this place here. Mm -hmm. Well, this is my life right here. You know, you get a little bit of salt in your blood and you don't ever want to get away from it. My name is Tommy Ward. I manage the oyster business for Buddy Ward and Son Seafood. We're at the west end of Apalachicola Bay, what people call the Miles. We're at Big Bayou. Uh, it's an oyster lease that we have. I've been coming here ever since I was a baby. When I was born, we lived at 13 Mile. The oyster industry in Apalachicola has been knocked down probably 80% due to the fact that the workforces went to the cleanup for the oil spill. This area here did not have oil on the beaches or off its shores. It was to the west of us. You know, it never breached through the inlets of uh, the barrier islands in Apalachicola Bay. Well, you see how pretty pristine the water is here in the eastern Gulf. Florida was spared. It's beautiful. We're very lucky. Gosh, we were so lucky. Hey, Greg Abrams, Greg Abrams Seafood in Panama City, Florida. I'm a boat owner of commercial fishery through the southeast United States and northeast United States. We're probably one of the largest producers of snapper, grouper, tuna in the Gulf of Mexico with the independent boats and the company boats. We're down a little over around 90% right now because of the closed area they closed. There just wasn't enough room for everybody to fish. Plus. BP hired a lot of the independent boats in the cleanup. Commercial fishermen doesn't want to fish in the oil and catch contaminated fish. They got pride on their product. We're going to catch black grouper, red snapper, probably king mackerel too. Maybe they won't be bad on us. We're using a bait they like. I'm Mike Moore. We've got a southeast to a south wind today. It's not going to be a bad day to fish. Okay, right now we're about 12 and a half miles off Panama City. We're roughly 195 miles from the oil accident. Our waters are being checked every day, all the way from here through Pasco and even east of us, 100 miles east of us, just to ensure that no uh, contamination whatsoever is in our waters. The fish they've been catching, they've been testing, and all, all look pretty good so far. Everything east of Panama City, all the ocean out here is in a real good shape. We could probably go 100 miles closer to the oil spill and the fish we would catch would still be all right, but that's just the government's way of making sure that, you know, no contaminated fish are getting nowhere even remotely close. And that gorgeous fish right there, it's about a six, seven pound red snapper. That's as pretty as it gets. That's a class act fish right there. That's the best in the Gulf right here. Whole Foods, they come in with a attitude of the best. They like to be involved. They like to look at the facility. They like, like to go out and fish with you. They are, they're 100% for their vendors. They want the best from their vendors and they expect the best. So that's the kind of clientele they sell. They have the best product. They make sure they have the best product. We still have great seafood, great oysters that we're known for worldwide. The quality's still here. Yeah, I just pulled this oyster out and we shucked it out. And I'm going, I guess you can say I'm going to slurp it up now. <laughs> hmm. Kind of excites your taste buds with the salt and just the flavor of the sea. You know, my daddy told me something one time. He said, uh, you don't sell nothing that you wouldn't take home and eat or feed to your own family. So that's the way I run my business. The oyster business is hard work. Sometimes there's not a lot of money in it, but um, it's a good, honest living, and I like doing it.